Hi everyone, it's attorney Bianca Jordan from Braves and Legal. Thanks so much for joining me again and watching my video. Please like and subscribe so that you can keep in touch and so that you don't miss any of the upcoming immigration videos that I have coming soon. So yesterday I did a video on the new executive order that was signed last night. And since then, I've gotten a ton of questions. There are people that are stressed, scared, freaking out, still confused as to who exactly this executive order applies to. So I wanted to hop on, do a really quick video, plain and simple, who's in, who's out? Who does this executive order apply to? I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of the executive order since I did that in my previous video. So if you would like to learn more about the executive order, you can watch that video and you can also look at the actual executive order, which I will link in the video, in the notes for this video. So this again, video quick and simple, plain and simple, who's in, who's out, who does this executive order affect and apply to? So I'm gonna work backwards. So I'm first gonna talk about who this ban does not apply to. So this immigration ban does not apply to you if you are already in the United States and you are applying to adjust your status to get a green card. So if you're in the United States right now and you're married to a US citizen or you are 21 years old or younger and your parent is a US citizen and they would like to apply for a green card for you, then this ban does not impact you and you can still apply for a green card. And I would strongly encourage that you do so because USCIS is still open, immigration court is still open, the, agency, the agencies are still working right now. And um, we don't know what else will happen with immigration we know that immigration is getting harder and harder. This year alone, we've had travel bans, we've got the new public charge rule that makes it even harder for immigrants to get a green card. So things aren't getting easier anytime soon. So if you're in the United States right now, you qualify for a green card, I definitely would strongly encourage you to get those applications going before this administration decides to take that option away as well. This immigration ban also does not affect you if you are the, um, it doesn't apply to US citizen spouses or children 21 years or older that are overseas right now trying to get a green card to come into the United States. This ban does not impact people in that situation. This immigration ban also does not apply to people who are applying for a green card or an immigrant visa to enter the United States to perform work related to COVID-19 research or treatment. So if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, if you are any other essential health care worker and you're trying to come to the United States either to perform research or to treat people on the front lines um, with corona, then you're good. This ban does not impact you. You're still able to come into the United States. This ban also does not apply to people who are trying to come into the United States with the EB-5 investor visa because these types of people are coming to the United States to create jobs. So the ban does not impact these people trying to come in with this type of visa. It also does not apply to um, people that are in the US Army. It doesn't apply to people coming in on certain special immigrant visas. And it doesn't apply to people that are applying for asylum and refugee status. So next I'm gonna talk about who this ban actually does apply to. So this ban applies to you if you are overseas and you're applying for a green card through someone who has a green card. For example, let's say your mom is in the United States and your mom has a green card and she wants to petition for you um, who lives in Haiti your mom wants a petition for you to come to the United States to join her with a green card. Or let's just say your husband is living in the United States and your husband has a green card and he wants to file a green card petition for you to come join him in the United States with a green card. You are not able to get a green card at this time. Um, if you are the brother or sister of a US citizen, 
or if you are the son or daughter of a U.S. citizen and you're over the age of 21, you're not going to be able to get a green card at this time. So now, what can you do? Um, actually, I don't remember if I mentioned this ban also does not apply to people who are um, trying to come into the United States with a fiancé visa, a visitor's visa, um, student visas. These visas are non-immigrant visas, and this immigration ban does not apply to these types of non-immigrant visas at this time. This administration, in 30 days or so, will reevaluate to determine whether they need to expand this immigration ban to include people that are trying to come to the United States with a fiancé visa, student visa, visitor's visas, and other types of non-immigrant visas. But as of today, April 23rd, when the ban goes into effect, these types of visas are not included. So next, um, I got a lot of questions this morning about what you can do right now, what you should do right now. So I'm going to go through those questions. Um, so the first question I got was, Will this affect my green card case if I applied before today? The answer is yes, if you are not in the United States. So if you're not in the United States and someone applied for you to, or you apply for your green card and you don't have your immigrant visa as of today, unfortunately you will not be able to get your green card at this time. But if you applied for a green card from the United States, so let's just say back in October or November or even January of 2020, you applied for a green card and you're already in the United States, this ban does not impact you at all. So the second question I got was, um, I'm in New York and I want to apply for a green card. Will this order impact me? No. Again, um, you can still apply for a green card if you're within the United States, if you're inside the United States. So you're in New York, you can totally apply for a green card. And again, I would strongly encourage you to do so now if you can, because again, we don't know what's going to happen with immigration. We don't know the changes that are going to come with immigration, but we do know that whatever changes are scheduled to come out, they're not good. They're not going to make immigration easier. So if you're able to apply for a green card today, I would definitely strongly encourage you to do so. Um, the next question I got I have a green card and I want to file for my kids in Haiti. What can I do? So if you're in the United States and you have a green card and you want to file for family members overseas, I would still encourage you to get that process going because since you have a green card, your beneficiaries, the people that you're trying to petition to get a green card, they're going to be placed in a certain category and get a priority date and that's going to impact when their green card will be ready. So I would still at least file the I-130 to kind of get your get a number in line, if you will. Another option that you might have, if you've had your green card for five years or more, consider applying for U.S. citizenship because we don't really know how long this ban is going to be in place. It's supposed to be 60 days, but this administration has the option after 50 days to determine whether or not they're going to expand it. In my opinion, I think that this immigration ban will be extended beyond the initial 60 days. So in the event that this ban is able to drag out longer than 60 days, God forbid it drags out for a year or years to come, I would um, encourage you to at least still file that I-130 to get that priority date. And then if you do become a U.S. citizen and this ban is still in place, um, then you can have that I-130 upgraded so that it reflects that that beneficiary is now the son or daughter of a U.S. citizen. So um, again, right now the executive order is lasting 60 days. Um, after 30 days, they can reevaluate to determine whether they're going to include non-immigrant visas like the fiancé visa, student visas, visitors visas, and after day 50, they can determine whether they're going to renew or extend this to continue on beyond the 60 days, which again, I think that they will. Um, so I hope you found that this video was helpful and a little bit more clear as to who can get a green card right now, who can't, and what can and should you do. Um, I know that there's a lot going on in the world right now. I know you're stressed and scared, but there's still hope. I still believe that there's hope and I fight for my clients every single day 
I'm not giving up hope and I really don't want you to give up hope either. If you have any questions about this executive order or if you'd like to talk to me about your immigration case, you can call my office at 508-942-7497. If you're outside of the United States and you need to talk, I use WhatsApp for a lot of my international clients. So you're free to call me or send me a voice message on WhatsApp. You can also visit brazenlegal.com to learn more about me and my law firm. Thanks so much for watching and stay safe.